many are uh, asking this question, uh, particularly concerning those who, uh, like myself, who do teaching on end times prophecy and our watchmen watching the culture, uh, the current events in our day and age, and comparing them to bib biblical prophecy. And, and here's the question that has come because of timing. Now, once again, timing for us is simply a matter of watching and calculating and, and being ready for the time that the Lord has designated. We believe there's an appointed time. In fact, Scripture signifies that there's an appointed time. The Lord has it under his own control. But we are to know the season of his return and the season when he will come for the bride. What I'm saying here is not uh, an argument for timing as far as pre, mid, or post-tribulation rapture. Um, there will be a rapture. First Thessalonians chapter 4, which we're going to get to, shows the rapture. It's the harpazo. It's the catching away. So we're not even going to discuss that issue. It's going to happen. The question, however, not timing with tribulation, but timing according to how we have interpreted what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 24, uh, verses 32 through 34, concerning the fig tree and what we have called the fig tree generation. If you look at what has been taught, and we're going to get to 1 Thessalonians, don't worry, but I, I need to say this. We have been taught and we have been teaching uh, that there is a last generation. This is not new teaching. It has been, um, it, it is seen that there is a last generation, but we have attached the fig tree parable that Jesus uses to something that we call the fig tree generation. Jesus did not use those words. He simply said, now listen to the parable of the fig tree. And then in verse 34, he says, and this generation will not pass away until all these things take place. And we've made the connection of fig tree and generation. The last generation is the fig tree generation. And we've gone to Psalm chapter 90, which kind of gives the picture timing wise, <clears throat> pardon me, of the length of a generation. What is the length of a generation? And according to Psalm 90 verses, or verse 10, that it's been given to us 70 years, and if by reason of strength we can suffer through 80, then it's 80 years. And so 80 years, we look at 80 years. If there's a fig tree generation, and that generation began with the putting on leaves of the fig tree, as the parable says, being Israel returning as a nation in 1948, May 14th, 1948, and then going forward 80 years, we come to, we come to 2028. If we're strict in our interpretation, we know that then it all has to end in the 80 years, which would be May 14th, 2028, but we've extended that to say that the fall feast would be fulfilled, certainly with the Lord's return, and that's the indication of what those three fall feasts are. In, uh, in the fall, the feast of the Lord, that the Lord would fulfill those feasts, the Feast of Trumpets, the Day of Atonement, and the Feast of Tabernacles. So we've extended out to the fall of 2028. Everything has to be wrapped up according to our design, according to how we interpret, and according to what we think. But if that's the truth, and we believe fully that there is a seven, 70th week, the last week, seven-year period of time, which is called Daniel's 70th week, Jacob's trouble, according to Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 6, the seven-year tri tribulation period, according to Daniel chapter 7 through 12, and according to the book of the Revelation, chapter 12, 13, 14, and onward, seven years of tribulation upon the whole world. And if we believe that the tribulation cannot begin until the restrainer is taken out of the way, and I know there's arguments, don't need to argue, I understand the arguments, and that there's a seven-year period of time in which the church is gone from the earth, then we have passed 
the date. We went by it. The fall feasts are over in 2021. That means it can't be fulfilled in the seven years to 2028. So we've either missed the pre-tribulation as opposed to mid-tribulation opposed to post-tribulation, which I do not believe in any way, shape, or form, or we have possibly, could it be, could it be, drum roll please, that we have gotten too locked in on calling something the fig tree generation. And I say, I'm guilty, guilty, guilty as charged, but is that what Jesus said? And are we locked into 80 years? I don't know, but let me throw this out to you. Israel declared its independence on May 14, 1948, but it was already in a war of independence since 1947, and it was a very violent war, and the Arab nations around it were trying to keep it from happening, and that war did not end until March 10, 1949. If there is a fig tree generation, and that's what Jesus meant when he said, this generation shall not pass away, could it be, and I'm just speculating and throwing it out there, and you all can discuss it, and other watchmen, if they even pay attention to anything I say, could it be that the March 10th date is actually when Israel became a nation, when it was in that first war, which I believe was Psalm 83 being fulfilled, in that first war, when the Lord brought about Israel, established as a nation, not declared as a nation, but established on March 10th, 1949, and there is a 80, an 80-year 80 period of time, then we're still in it. We're still in it through the spring feast, or up to the spring feast, and probably right about the time of the uh, spring feast of 2022. Now, I say all that because I don't know. I say all that, though, to encourage you to stay true, keep watching, don't give up hope, don't say we missed it, we've misinterpreted, I'm not going to watch anymore. There is a crown that is given to you for watching. There's a crown that is laid up for those who love his appearing. We're watching, keep watching, take courage, take strength. It's not over. Pardon me here, Lord. I almost said it's not over till the fat lady sings. It has nothing to do with the fat lady. And pardon me if you're slightly overweight, as I am. It's not over until the Lord says it's over. It's not over until the times of the Gentiles is completed. It's not over until that last person comes to know the Lord Jesus Christ. Not over. But we see written in Luke, the signs that were given. And Jesus said, when you see all these things beginning to take place, look up for your redemption is drawing near. In our first Thessalonians study today, which I will be posting very soon, it'll come up today. We're going to be looking in chapter two, connecting it to chapter one, because it's one letter that we will be delivered out of, away from the wrath that is to come. So take courage. Take courage. This short, short video is an advertisement for what will be posted this evening at 7 o'clock p.m. So be there. Mm -hmm.